Hello friends, welcome to this next video on classical mechanics. Let us first see till now what we have done. We have started with the single particle and we have studied law of conservation of linear momentum. Linear momentum and after that we studied law of conservation of angular momentum and after that we have studied law of conservation of energy. Right? This is what we have done for a single particle and after studying the single particle we move to system of particles and in case of system of particles we have studied law of conservation of linear momentum and then we studied law of conservation of angular momentum. Okay. When we studied law of conservation of linear momentum we had a relation of this type the total angular uh, linear momentum of the system is m that is total mass of the system dr by dp where this r is position vector of the center of mass okay right so in we know that the total angular uh, linear momentum of a system is summation of linear momentum of all the particles right but we uh, had found that the total linear momentum of the system is total mass of the system times the velocity of the center of the mass it means that the total uh, the system behaves as if the system behaves as if the total mass of the system is concentrated at the center of mass okay and the derivation of this relation was very simple you can see in the last video how we have done that and after that we have established this law of conservation of angular momentum but we would like to have a similar relation right we would like to have a relation which tells us how the uh, angular momentum of the system is related to the angular momentum of the center of the mass okay so this is what so that is what we will do now we'll try to establish some relation okay which tells us that this angular momentum is uh, something in terms of total mass of the system and the position vector of the center of the mass okay so let us do that so we have we know that suppose we have a system of particles we have these particles p1 p2 pn right okay and we have this coordinate axis coordinate axis this is suppose our x axis y axis and we have some z axis as well right and suppose this is the center of mass of the system and r is the position vector of this center of mass r is the position vector of the center of the mass okay and suppose this is any general particle we are taking and ri is the position vector of this particle uh, this general particle this is ri okay and suppose this vector this is your r vector this is r vector and suppose this vector this is r i dash vector okay so this r i dash is the position vector of i th particle with respect to center of mass okay and this is your origin now what is the angular momentum of the system total angular momentum of the system is summation of angular momentum of all the particles is ri vector cross pi vector where pi is the angular momentum of the ith particle now you see you have this triangle this is triangle o you call it p you call it c so you have this triangle opc and you have something like this vector and this vector and this vector so you use the triangle law of vector addition that says that r vector plus ri dash vector is equal to ri vector okay so you can see that this vector plus this vector is equal to this vector so this this is due to triangle law of vector addition triangle law of vector addition right okay so we have we, we want to compute this thing for that we have something like this ri vector is actually r vector plus ri dash vector and now i differentiate this equation with respect to time i'll get dri by dt is equal to dr by dt plus dri dash by dt right now what 
which is this this is the velocity of the center of the mass the iconic v vector plus this is the velocity of the ith particle with respect to center of mass we call it vi dash vector and this is the velocity of ith particle with respect to origin we call it vi vector right therefore we have these two relations we have ri vector is equal to r vector plus ri dash vector and we have vi vector is equal to v vector plus vi dash vector okay now we have this total angular momentum is equal to summation ri cross pi okay summation runs over i and what is pi pi is ri sorry pi is m m i is the mass of the is particle into velocity of the is particle so we have this thing r summation over i m i r i cross v i right now you put the value of r i and v i so you have like this you have this m i into r i is your r vector plus r i vector r i dash vector cross product with v i is your v vector plus v i dash vector right this is what we have with us now you can uh, open this uh, these brackets you can take the cross product so you have something like this you have this equal to this is mi uh, r cross v vector right plus summation mi r cross v i dash vector plus summation mi r i dash cross v vector plus summation m i r i dash vector cross v i dash vector right so these are the four terms which we have with us right now let us look at the first term first term is your this term first term is your uh, r is you can take it out cross summation m i into v vector this is your first term right now what is this is the total mass of the system so this is r cross m v vector and so what is this this is the position vector of center of mass and this is the linear momentum of center of mass so this is nothing but angular momentum of center of mass right so first term is nothing but angular momentum of center of mass right now let us look at the next thing next term we have the second term what is your second term second term is second term is summation mi r cross vi vector vi dash vector so what is this this is your summation you can take this r vector outside r cross summation mi vi dash vector right now how you can write this thing this is your uh, r cross d by dt of summation mi ri dash vector right you can write like this okay now look at this thing i'm sorry Now look at this thing. We have that r vector plus r i dash vector is equal to r vector. And what is the definition of r vector? R vector is summation m i r i divided by summation m i. This is the definition of r vector, right? So you have this thing. This is your r i vector. Sorry. So you have this thing. Uh, m i r i vector summation is equal to summation m i r vector plus summation m i r i dash vector right now what is this you can divide by summation m i on both sides right okay so now what is this this is your r vector and this is your r vector to, uh, because summation m i will cancel in the numerator and denominator and pl plus summation m i r i dash vector divided by summation m i so from here this r vector and r vector will cancel so you have summation 
and my ri dash vector is equal to 0 so this thing is actually 0 ok so second term vanishes so we we have this term this term is 0 ok similarly you can prove that one more term is 0 what is that term this term is 0 how because this is nothing but this term is nothing but mi ri dash vector cross with v vector and this term is 0 therefore this second term and third term vanishes so you are left with first term and fourth term first term already we have seen that is nothing but angular moment of the center of mass now let us see what is this fourth term ok so we have I write it again what we have we have we are left with that angular momentum is equal to r cross total mass I write it capital M into V vector plus summation mi summation mi ri dash cross vi dash right so this is what we are left with so we have l vector is equal to r cross mv vector plus I can write it as ri dash cross mi vi dash vector now what is this this is the linear momentum of ith particle with respect to center of mass right because their velocity is with respect to center of mass so what is this this is the angular momentum when I take the cross product with ri dash so this quantity is angular momentum of ith particle with respect to center of mass and we have taken the sum of that thing so this whole quantity is angular momentum of the system with respect to center of mass therefore we get that total angular momentum of the system is equal to angular momentum of center of mass with respect to a region plus angular momentum of the system with respect to center of mass of the system right so this is the relation we we were seeking okay and we get this relation okay in the next video we'll move ahead as in the case of single particle thank you